Welcome to Physics Lesson 6.03, Variations of Acceleration Due to Gravity. So we've been saying for a long time that acceleration due to gravity is a 9.81 meters per second squared. And we say that's down because the force of uh, gravity on us by the Earth is always down towards the center of the Earth. So if we had to draw this, and uh, we'll draw a stick person, even though this is not to scale. It'd be like a ginormous stick person. And the center of the Earth is, is somewhere down here. So there's a force of gravity. Remember, uh, gravity, a center of mass, it acts as a point at the center of an object. So your center of gravity would be here and the Earth's is here. And we have a force of gravity. So this is force of gravity on the person by the Earth. Remember that there's an equal and opposite pull um, force of gravity on the Earth by the person, but the Earth is, whoops, P, the Earth is so large that the Earth doesn't feel it. But for us, the force of gravity on the person by the Earth, which is down here, uh, is, is large enough that if we're in the middle of, um, if, if we're launched into the sky, we're gonna come down with this acceleration. Well, where does this come from? First of all, don't confuse uh, a sub g with s sub g. So this is not the same as the force due to gravity. So if we look at this, if we wanna do the force of gravity on the person by the earth, we're gonna have Newton's constant. We're gonna have the mass of the person. We're gonna have the mass of the earth. And we're going to need the distance, and we're assuming now that this is at sea level. So we're going to need uh, the distance from the person to the center of the Earth. And this actually is the radius. So in this case, we want the radius of the Earth. And uh, so this is going to be the distance squared. Turns out the mass of the Earth is 5.98 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. Turns out that the distance from the center of the Earth to sea level would be uh, 6.378 times 10 to the sixth meters. And so uh, the force of gravity on a person is going to be by the Earth. 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th is Newton's constant times the mass of the person times the mass of the earth, which is 5.98 times 10 to the 24th divide that by 6.378 times 10 to the sixth. And that needs to be squared. And guess what you get? You get that the force of gravity on the person by the earth is the mass of the person times 9.81 meters per second squared. And that should look pretty familiar because we're talking about force of gravity on somebody is their weight. There we have the mass. And this we have said all along, this should really be acceleration due to gravity, but we put it in as little g. And so this is called little g all the time. Well, how is this going to change if we go to the top of Mount Everest? So let's say uh, we climb Everest. And Everest is 8,848 meters. So what is acceleration due to gravity on top of the mountain? Everything's going to stay the same except for now. Here I am on top of the mountain. There's a mountain. Let's put our person on top of the mountain. So now, looks like an uncomfortable position to be in. My distance is going to be an additional 8,848 meters. 
So to find my new uh, <clears throat> value for a sub g, I'm going to do all of these the same. 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th times the mass of the person times 5.98 times 10 to the 24th. But on the bottom, I'm going to have to add my distance, 6.378 times 10 to the 6th plus 8,848, and I'm going to square that. And when I do, I get a value of 9.77 meters per second squared. We can see that if we go to the top of a mountain, our acceleration due to gravity is not as strong. Because remember what we said in our first video on gravity, the further two objects are apart, and we're talking about centers of masses here. So these two centers of masses are closer together than these two centers of masses, uh, the weaker gravity gets. And that's why we see the acceleration for gravity um, weaker up here. Now, as you get closer to the Earth, it's going to increase. Acceleration isn't going to be constant. But our takeaways here are we can finally understand why this uh, little g or acceleration due to gravity is 9.81. We understand that weight is mass times excel. It's we say mass times gravity, but it's actually mass times acceleration due to gravity. And that these are the same thing. Force of gravity and weight are the same thing. And finally, if we uh, go further away from the center of mass for something, we have to adjust for our distance here. And that can vary our uh, value for. Um, so we say this is acceleration due to gravity, but most texts will just call this little g. All right, thanks for watching.